The next protocol we're going to look at is actually a couple of protocols. We're going to talk about Windows file sharing because it's one of the most common packet captures you'll see on a local network, a local Windows network in particular that has Windows clients. And this might be Windows clients ranging all the way from Windows 95 all the way to Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, and even Vista. And the protocols that Windows file sharing normally uses is a combination of SMB, which is server message block, and NetBIOS. Now NetBIOS, as you know, is an older protocol that Microsoft has used since the beginning of time. Um, combined with uh, SMB, NetBIOS basically makes file sharing happen. Now, uh, it's not unusual to do a scan on a Windows box and see ports 137, 138, 139, and 445 open. And you'll see these ports open depending upon which version of Windows you're actually seeing. And sometimes you'll see these on TCP uh, ports and sometimes you'll see these on UDP ports depending upon which port it is. Uh, but you'll see this a lot when Windows file sharing is going on. So I thought it was useful for us to take a quick look at Windows file sharing at a session, if you will, Windows file sharing session, just to see all the different traffic you get to see actually how complex it can be. Okay, we're going to start our Wireshark capture, of course, on the 30.10 interface, and then we're going to just open up a simple file sharing session. We're going to uh, actually open up the, that file sharing session with the Windows Server 2003 box, which is 172.16.30.1. We're looking for a file share called public. Let's open that up and we actually go right to it. Now, I've opened this share before, so we didn't even have to authenticate. I've authenticated before to this particular share. So we've got it open. We can open up a document and close it. And there, we've done a simple file share. Now let's actually see what our uh, traffic looks like. We'll stop our capture. And what we're going to see is actually quite a bit of traffic for just that simple uh, session there, simply opening up a file share. We've got a lot of SMB traffic as you can see and if you look down here in the middle frame you've got your protocol stack. You've got your frame, uh, your uh, layer 2 uh, and, and layer 1 information. Then you've got your layer 3 internet protocol, source address and destination address. Then you've got your TCP information, uh, which port it's going to be used and your source port in this case is 1160. Your destination port as I mentioned before is 445. Now you'll see uh, 137, 139, 138, 445 quite frequently uh, in a Microsoft uh, file sharing session. Then we're going to see the NetBIOS session here and finally we see the server message block protocol. It's actually the file sharing protocol that Windows uses and there's different headers and things we can look at. I'm not going to go through all of these but you can just kind of see how complex it can actually be. So there's different uh, components of that if we uh, arrow down through our packet capture, there's a lot of SMB traffic going on. Opening the path, opening uh, the file share, getting the uh, request and response in, authenticating even. And authentication is actually going on there. Uh, but the authentication information was cached when I opened it uh, this time. Then we've got closed responses and requests. And again, you see the NetBIOS session and the SMB traffic going on here. A lot of SMB stuff. Occasionally a, a TCP packet gets its way through there. And finally we disconnect. We see some other things going on. The server service, which has to be running on the server by the way. So some interesting things going on there. We've got our NetBIOS session service going on, our SMB. And we've got the SMB pipes, the named pipes uh, going on, which is uh, connecting to the server service. A DCE RPC request. And as you may know, RPC is a protocol that allows um, Windows boxes to talk to each other on a control basis. Server services opening up here. So we've got all the way actually up to the application layer uh, displayed here. It's actually a pretty neat little packet capture in that we, we basically have gone through all seven layers of the uh, TCP IP or rather the OSI model here just in this one particular packet. So we've got more SMB stuff going on. And there's not too much. I mean, even though there's a lot going on, there's not a lot to an SMB file sharing session. If you ever have the occasion to really analyze some SMB traffic just to kind of troubleshoot to see what's going on during a traffic uh, session, it can actually get kind of complicated, kind of complex, so you have to be able to weed out uh, what you're looking for in particular. So just that's just a quick glance at SMB uh, and NetBIOS traffic, basically Windows file sharing.